Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Parker Tech. Today's beverage is a very nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for building a water ride, which is what we'll be doing shortly. So welcome back to the game. In a previous episode, we were once again expanding the park. We got in the G-Lock, we've got the uh, miniature railway there, which is actually not doing very well at all. Uh, and then also the money rail, which we are still waiting for values for that to, uh, yeah, to, to, to be displayed and to be recalculated. I guess I didn't test it, and also it does take about six weeks for these carriages to get to the uh, start and end point. So overall pretty happy with the progress. Money's okay as well. I've been tweaking the money to try and maximise profits. There are certainly a tipping point. So for example these go-karts are on 22 generic units of currency a ride and that's only two laps as well. However you put up to 24 and everybody just disappears off it. They are not interested at all for that price. So you do have to alter your pricing accordingly and make sure that you know you do have uh, a decent pricing structure and not absolutely fleecing everybody but you can see for the most part we've got a couple of people in the queue and a couple of people you know going on there and such so it is overall uh, working out quite well I'm surprised just how many people are really liking this uh, spiral so let's just put that up a little bit as well money rail is probably raking it in we got 39 guests on the queue but previously I think I had over 60 and oh there we go so, the test results for the Gentle Monorail ride are now in. The Money Rail now has a medium excitement, low intensity, very low nausea and high decoration rating. It also takes just under 10 minutes to uh, finish, the entire thing, uh, finish the entire thing, so that's pretty good. Anyway, in this episode I want to build a water ride. And as uh, people have correctly said, because I said, oh, I, I really need like a, a big watery area and such to put them on. Well, you don't, you don't actually need to do that at all. Um, it just it looks better. So we are still going to do that. I'm going to build probably River Rapids, but I want to sort of unleash maybe our water um, potential around this area, whatever that means. Uh, and by that I mean I want to expand this and I want to have the majority of this set to uh, water. So I'm just going to expand as you can see here and sort of expand up to there. I don't want to... Mm, that's not what I was wanting, that is fine, and I don't want to, maybe should we have a little, little island in the middle, that might be okay, little island in the middle, and I'm trying to make it so that this isn't like, you know, very, what would you call it, it isn't very uniform, I'm trying to sort of avoid that, try and make it, <laughs> avoid that mix, almost a perfect square in there, uh, yeah, I want to try and make it, as I said, a, a bit different, and maybe even raise up the land there and there, and that's actually okay. Over to our water then, and we could make it lava, but we are certainly going to make it water. We're also going to get rid of this tree and this tree, and we're probably going to put some more trees in and around the area. So let's just uh, dot a few trees around, certainly in the centre there as well. We're just using the eyedropper tool to, like you say, place a couple more of these different trees, different types of trees, and whatnot and that is I think okay right let's go ahead and get the ride done so the ride we have many options for the water rides we've got the boat dark ride the bumper boats we've, well, we've already got the bumper boats and the row boats sorry no the pedal boats and there's row boats there as well which are I don't understand actually where there's row boats and there's pe uh, pedal boats I mean surely they could have just put self it could have been combined I think to self-powered ride because it is well they're both self-powered they're just yeah, different ways of um, you know getting that power to to the boat one rows one pedals but yeah 800 quid each yeah it is what it is anyway we've got log flume which I was looking at which is increased popularity during higher temperatures <clears throat> it's currently minus two and we're building it in uh, December so this is probably the worst time I could have possibly chose to build this thing yeah so the log flume is 1,200 and the River Rapids is 1,400. Also, guests will look at fun things to do while riding scenic rides. It is apparently a scenic ride, whereas the Log Flume is not. Okay, well, this seems to be the sort of chill scenic area, so it's a fitting place to have it. So this is where we're going to have our Log Flume. It's going to go um, probably along here. That should suffice, and I'll probably start it in here. And we're going to obviously build up like so and then it's going to start to travel so what have we got here we've got bumpers oh this is something new I've not seen this before we've got a camera position so you can take um, you can take 
photos on that. Bumpers, I don't even know what are. Oh, oh, right, hang on then. So if I go to straight and we can increase, yeah, we can increase the width of this thing. Okay, that's pretty good. And you can also have like curtains, water curtains on either side. Right, that's pretty good. And rapids as well. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to delete that. That is a little bit more involved than I originally anticipated. Oh, no, no, let's not chicken out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've not, I've not used them before, but I think we can, I think we can get away with it. Let's just go ahead and uh, build this thing. So build, 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 and then we're going to rotate around, and yeah, I think we'll just rotate around like that. And oh, do we just have a gentle curve as we come out there? That's fine. Yes, and then we're going to go up and build this up to about there. Can't go any higher than that and then it'll drop a little bit to go to straight and then we'll sort of curve round like so and like so and then we'll have a fairly big drop into like a sort of plunge pool essentially but that'll open up uh, will it open up uh, we can make it open up like that and then sort of curve it round like that oh yeah that's pretty cool um, oh that'll actually go under the oh hang on what if we delete that then and we make that so it then squeezes back in and that will oh yeah we can work around like that that's curious that's going to come down there and it's going to work along but if we put like a bumper in um so we can put like a bumper in there and in there and in in here i'm hoping they can get around that um that's pretty good that's pretty good i want oh, would it be best if this was rapids as well um, oh, we can't make that rapids, sadly. We cannot make that rapids. Uh, this one, however, we can have either the waterfall right, or we can actually make this rapids, which I think we will make this rapids. And this is going to come along like so, and then sort of curve at the end. We'll have a little bit of a sort of... Uh, let me rotate it around. We'll have a bit of an S-bend. Can we have an S-bend? Um, no, it does not let you can have an S bend left and S bend right. It just doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Look at that, it just opens up for, for no reason there. Um, yeah, so we'll go straight, but then... No, it doesn't seem to work. S bends just don't work, apparently, in this. Do they not? I don't think so. Oh, you know what it'll be? It'll be rapids. Yeah, so you can have an S bend. Oh, look at that. It dynamically changes the size. So it's it's because of the rapids, you see. That's not too bad, anyway. Uh, let's keep it as rapids. Um, and we'll close it down to there and then we're going to get rid of the rapids but I am going to put a bumper right in the centre of each one and I'm hoping that the thing can get through there. Oh, is that stuck? I think that might have been stuck. What I'm going to do is just remove um, some of these then. So I'm just going to... What I'll do is I'll place them like that. I'll place them on the edges. That'll be a little bit better. Then you've got the rapids here as it comes along and then you're going to go through there. Then it's going to go to normal sort of size there with a little S bend in. Um, we'll have some, a nice little sort of sweep round with the water curtain on that side. I'm actually a, not, a bit, not a big fan of that water curtain. What I might do is I'll go to the other side and then we'll have that, you see. We'll have the water curtain go there. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, don't really want that one though. Uh, we'll have this come around and Maybe that way, but increase the size of it. Or is that the same as that? No. It actually is pretty much where I want it. Now we're going to go back up again. Oh, can we have <laughs> curtains going up like that? You can. You can have that. Do I want that? I really don't. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice, but it just looks a bit... Nah, not for me. Not for me. Go down, I can level up. And then. Oh! Why can't we build that? Too high for supports. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. This is gonna. I think. Go back to rapids here. In fact, I'll change the previous one. Can't do that one. Can I do, delete that one? So, goes down. Down and rapid. Oh yeah, we have rapids there. Straight rapids. Hmm. Down with rapids. Straight with rapids. 
Then we can curve round. Yep, that's fine. Down again. Straight. Turn. Down again. No. I don't like that it goes over that. You can't really see that. Oh, yeah. There's the... Oh! So that's a harsh bumper, putting it there, because it's just going to go dunk off the side. Other noises of collision are also available. Um, you know what? Back to that. I think... That. Followed by going down. Uh, that's... That's actually a different level. Oh, look at that. The level's different. I'll have to do that. That's fine, though. Um, this can widen, then. Good grief. Um, back to normal size there. Build. Remove the rapids. And, honestly, I think that's about where I want to leave it. And we'll have... Oop, hang on, I'll have to place the entrance and the exit. We'll have to have a dryer out there somewhere. <laughs> um, I want a sort of bumper system on both sides like that. Okay, this is the first time I've built one of these things. We only have one boat, River Rapids boat, 14 of them. Let's test it. So, customers will come on here, get on one of these boats, and then get wet. There's a lot of spare water around here like that I haven't really utilised. Spare water, I think you know what, <laughs> hopefully you know what I mean. It's like I haven't put things around here and here. That one seems pretty cool, that bit, and then this one here is also okay. So we've got a bit of rapids... But it's actually mainly rapids, isn't it? It's about 50-50 rapids and normal. I could have maybe widened this a bit. We'll see. Anyway, this is the rapids here, so it's coming down. It's hitting the side and sort of banging on it. You see it's rocking up and down as well. And, oh yeah, it comes down. Lots of white water and then splash and then misses that. But, oh, right, that bumper has to go. That bumper is not nice at all. That's, yeah, that's going to cause hideous accidents. Oh, this is going to get stuck in here as well. Um, and then the other rapids comes down and bunks <laughs> into the side of that one. Um, actually, do I want to keep it? I may keep it now. Because um, if it makes collisions with those, then that's that's pretty good. And it's got past that one okay. Um, maybe if I put that bumper here. And yeah, I think that one has to go, really. Because every other one seems to seems to sort of hit into the other one. I've just realised as well there's numbers on the side, so that's number four. Number three, you can actually see the numbers on the side. Um, over here, we've got... Yeah, 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 right, okay. Fair, 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 fair point. Um, so we'll... <laughs> we'll have to get rid of those then. <clears throat> that, uh, that doesn't function, does it? No, we'll, we'll remove those. Which is a shame. I might put them in the corners, though. Um, if we put them in the corners, that might function okay. I'm actually going to make that sort of clip through the size there. It must be placed on water. It quite clearly is getting placed on water. There we go. Is that clipping through? It's not. So how come that one I can place where it is? I have no idea. Anyway, that can go in there. That can go in there. That should function fine. Um, for this one, then, I'm going to put that one in there, and I'm going to remove that one. And, obviously, those we don't need at all. Most of these we don't need. So, it's going to come down, maybe bounce off that one, maybe bounce off that one. We'll have that one in here, and we'll see how... I don't really want to block things up, but we'll try that. That might be a little bit better. Back to testing, and speed up to max speed. During all of this, by the way, we've made this thing, and we've actually earned money. <laughs> we've got more money than we started with, which is good. So, tests underway. Naturally, we can... Assuming this is okay. All that comes down, it still hits into that, but it does get past it. Yeah, it bumps into that one, but doesn't bump into that. But they do get past. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, this one's okay. See, that's bumping in between these two. Yeah, that's fine. Then it goes down that 
Oh yeah, yeah that's where one person's going to get wet because of the waterfall. This is going to come around. That's quite nice. Spins around. Yeah, I like that. This one I think people are going to get stuck at. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. You don't know until you know, and now we know. As I said, I've never built one of these. So I was, um... Sort of anticipating all manner of things. I guess those two and that one there should do the job. Back to testing then. Back to the testing phase. Um, while that's working, I'm going to... I'm going to start putting some stuff in here. Some decoration. So we've got large decoration. There is a water tower yet. Yeah, a very big water tower which will go in there. And we have a clunk noise as we place it. There's a smaller water tower as well, but I'm not a, a big fan of that. What I do want to do, and I've been meaning to do this for quite some time, is go to vehicles and like car classic and we'll have like a, a submerged vehicle. <laughs> Just randomly... Uh, underwater like that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, in terms of our emitters, we've got water jets and splashes. So you can see the splashes there, but if we go for splash big, we can place them place them like there. Actually, no, because it's pretty much just rapids anyway. So, there you go. By the time this is built... Whoa, what's happened there? See that? Oh, I think I know what's happened. Right, the ride has stopped. Okay, this is high excitement, low intensity, very low nausea rating with a decoration of low. So the decoration I can fix and the excitement being high is good enough. I could alter that. I could change things up and try different things and make it a bit better. But quite frankly, I'm going to accept that rating. I think that is a acceptable rating. Like I say, ideally I would like it a bit high. I would like it at very high or whatever, but yeah, it'll do the job nicely. It will do the job nicely. Um, so we've got speakers <laughs> and other things. So you know what? What we'll do is we'll open the ride and we'll see how it gets on. So over to our bricks here and we're going to build a um, an exit that's going to come down to there. This is not going to go any further than... Uh, here, by the way. In fact, no, maybe it does. Maybe it does want to come further out and go maybe around here. Mm, oh, it's not going to... It's going to have to go underneath this. Yeah. We may have to alter that. How is this thing doing? Uh, we've got loads of people. Uh, 52 guests on the ride and 36 in the queue. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, let's get this open. Um, obviously, there's no... There's no queue on this one, so I'll have to fix that first. We'll put the queue... Ah, you know what? I don't actually like... I don't like that this isn't going to be able to go around. That's a flaw in my design. It's going to have to either go underneath this, or this is going to have to be reimagined. Hmm. Okay. I'll come back to that. That's a future me problem. And there we go. There's that ride open. So... We have an open ride. I am not going to put any things above it. Um, any pavilion type stuff. Because, quite frankly, oops, if it's raining, nobody's going to be on this anywhere. So it doesn't much matter. But we are going to put lanterns just for the... What it looks like when it's dark. We will now have to get rid of some of these and we're going to clone some of the trees and sort of just scatter them about a bit. So they say cloning trees, putting them all around, even like in here. It's fine. I like this island is very green. And that'll that'll probably increase the rating. It's still decoration low. How curious. The Hmm. I could put jumping fountains in. Which when you place it it sort of sprays water like that, but no, I'm not a big fan of that. 
Um, maybe fountains all along here might be nice. Oh yeah, that might be nice if I place them along here. Whoops, didn't mean to have that filled underground. <laughs> yeah, I'll place like fountains along here. This looks quite nice. Oh, hang on, isn't the ivy as well? Or vines? Vines, there are now vines. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me put that back on. So, we've got different types of vines. Well, if I place it there, it's not going to look great. Flower vines. Alright, okay. Oh, those look really nice. Oh, we're having those. Um, I'm going to change the flower to, like, a, a bright red. Just to match. Just to match the, the cars. Oh, that looks quite nice. Medium decoration. Because of the type of ride that this is, people like to look at stuff when they're around here. So maybe spending a bit more time and money on increasing increasing the uh, the look of this would be alright. Kind of an adventure tent in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that fits in. That seems to be our sort of go-to thing, doesn't it? Having adventure tents. That's okay. Lots of small things you can place here. Um, how about we place a raft in there and a raft in here. We'll place a couple of things on it. Um, <laughs> hang on, wait. Let's do that. Okay. Traffic cones. Lift up. Put a couple of traffic cones on this. And we're going to put an all-terrain vehicle on this. <laughs> like the way that one's there. <laughs> and this one's dumped there. It's like, it's like the top gear's gone wrong type thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay. We also got this navy. These navy boys. We can place around. And they do look quite nice in the dark anyway, so that's fine. On here, what can we put on that way? Uh, on that thing there. We've got building sections, we've got fencing. It's going to have to be like... I can't imagine a topiary. That wouldn't go quite well. Also, a snowman? Probably not. Archery target? I don't know why, but for some reason an archery target just looks okay. It's going to... As people coming along, they're going to look at that and think, we can fling stuff at that. Um, okay, we're up to decoration high now. So this is good. The gentle monorail ride, otherwise known as the money rail, is sadly... Uh, oh, restraints are stuck open. Not really any restraints on the thing. But it is working. And went up to nearly 11 grand. Brilliant. Um, over to our blueprints and going down to the square bogs. I'm going to place these in... In and around here. Um, I'm very... Um, I think I'll place them... Where do I want to place them? I'm very aware that the monorail has to fit in and probably down the back there. And I want another ride in here. Maybe I build the ride first. So, let's build another calm ride. Plane carousel. Would only just fit in. It's too big. Double Ferris wheel, definitely not. Because, not only does it have height, it has like a big width thing to be aware of around it as well. Magic carpet could work. Swings, no. Standard carousel. People like to get on that when it's raining. That's not too bad, that one. Um, okay, we'll put a simple carousel in. There's the entrance and exit. We'll get that open. Obviously, it's going to shout at us because we haven't... Uh, we haven't connected it up. Oh, and it's got the traditional music. 
which I think sounds evil, so that's getting turned off. Right. <laughs> Blueprints. Square bogs. Oh, we could have it side on. No, it's fine. I think just like that is sufficient. Naturally. Oh, darn it. I often remove the flooring. Uh, the, I have to often remove something while I'm trying to remove the flooring. So there's that now in. Naturally, I have to connect that up, so we'll go to the connections. And this will have to come out from here. And connect up to there. Delete that. And go to there. Job done. Fixed. Right, this is good. We will put in a couple of things. Naturally, we want the lanterns in. I haven't seen it go dark recently. I wonder why. Oh, it's because the auto has been turned off for whether it goes dark or not. There we go. Let me turn back on. And we're going to clone this. We'll have it as white and blue. I think it's that colour. Maybe darker. Job done. People are... People are really liking to go on this. Eh, 19 guess. It's not too bad. One thing I have missed, and people did point this out, or one person did, is maps. If you place map signs, map boards, like this, people are less likely to have issues in the park. Um, we'll snap it to grid, why not? Like that. And we're going to place these on like corner pieces and corner sections. And just generally places where you may need to check up where things are, where you can go. So place a map board in there. Place one in. Oh, bring that down. In here. Place one there. Maybe a little bit further along. That's fine. And and um in here. Alright, good. Let's just clone this and get some nice things around this toilet. Could go around there, but we'll leave it for now. I think what's going to happen over here is going to go down and underneath. Or I'll edit that. Haven't yet decided. Alright. So we spent a fair bit on this thing. But it's working. It's. I don't think it's going to earn as much money, to be honest. But then again, we will have to see. In terms of staff, I'm going to hire another janitor, another hauler. I want. Oh no, how many hauler? One, two, three. We've got four, five haulers. Don't think we need any more. Although that says it's out of. Oh, I know why that's out of supply. Uh, let me hire another mechanic, another security, and another knight. I know what's happened. When that got deleted... No, no I, I, no, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, yeah. I thought... I deleted that. Because when you delete it, you then have to add it back on. But it has been added, or it's... It's, it's, it's fixed, should I say. So I actually don't... Gen I genuinely don't know what's happened there. But it is all right. This thing, then, uh, it's still working as intended. This thing is getting more and more people on. People are liking, are liking our work over here. So... Do I want to edit this now? Yes, I am. I'm going to press the... Oh, look at all them people going off. It's just bad. It's all kinds of bad. Right. Now, this is something you do not want to do and that's basically redo your ride you really don't want to try and do essentially uh, 
a bypass. You really don't want that. Um, where is the entrance? The entrance is there. So I'm going to bring this a little bit further back to say here. And it means I can then connect up the entrance way like so. So that now still functions as intended. From here, it is going to... We need to get to four and a half, do we? Is that not going to go in? No. So. Four and a half. Perfect. Mm. Okay, I'm going to edit that again. So it's going to come down to here. Level up. Turn. Start going down again. Um, straighten. Turn sharply. We'll go down to the level there. No, because this still needs to come down. Hmm. Right. Delete. Delete. And delete. That was my original intention. It means less people... On the ride means I'll have less people on the ride, but I don't think it much matters. From here, do that. We can then turn like that. Ah, oh, that wouldn't fit in there. No, it wouldn't. Okay. And do that. And so I've just curved, it's just curving all the way around, but that's fine. And. Nope. Almost back. And that goes in there. But now that I know that. We can make it two longer. That is fine. Two. Turn, turn. Station, station. Open it back up again. Oh. So there's not less carts. Oh, that's fine. Right. It works. That looks nice, doesn't it? At night. It always looks nice at night. Let's put that path in. That's how I wanted it now. Brilliant. Um, potentially, do I do I connect up these paths now? Knowing that I'm going to have to do something like that eventually anywhere. Yeah, maybe. It means people will be wandering on the paths. Which is far from ideal, but it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, in fact, I warned. Because people are just going to wander on it like that. You can see they're wandering on it. And I don't want them doing that. I want them to... Um, stay where there's rides. <laughs> Good grief. Get the tweezers out. Pick them up and put them there. And there we go. Okay. That's nice. I'm happy with that. And what was it? High? Yeah. So it's a very high excitement now. So the excitement's gone up then. And the reason for that, I think, is because the decoration. This is, if I check, 40 guests. That's a 40 guests and 3 in the queue. I think it did. Let me put the price up a little bit, because I don't think people will be turned away by it. No, he's still wandered in. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's checking a map. Uh, he's wandering off now as well. Right. Yeah, it's gone up because the decoration. If we double check here, I believe it will say that. Guests will look for fun things to do while, while on scenic rides, so the higher the scenery, the higher the fun. Okay. Good. We've got 12 grand. That's a fairly decent amount of money. Almost enough money to build a roller coaster, which I'm sure people are wanting me to build. So... 
Not too bad. What? Not too bad. Not too bad. Sort of mix those up there. We don't know what I'm about. Um, there's some lovely seating there, so you can get your back of your neck wet. Um, put some bins in places. There and there is the standard procedure. This, by the way, may be a problem, as will the other toilets, because from the visibility, this is negative because you can see the loo. The monorail will go up and over that. People can then see the toilet blocks. We may have to alter it. Okay, we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of Parkitect. I know we spent the majority of the time and effort on basically building one ride, but I'm happy with it, and it seems to work. People are enjoying it. That bumper is still a nightmare, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. It's like a. It's like a Jenga tower now. It's like I'm not touching it. It's still up. It's still working, and it's making us money. Not a huge amount, but more people are coming over here, which is good. So we're gonna leave it there for now. Next episode, we will look at. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm really not entirely sure what we. What we're gonna go for? Wow, 20 guests on the ride and 40 in the queue. Just by closing it, there's more people on it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what we uh, go for a build. Obviously, we'll place a couple more thrill rides. Power surge is good. Swinging ship is a apparently a thrill ride. The graviton, that's good because it's increased popularity during the rain and in colder temperatures. And it's now July, so well, not really those. But I think eventually. We're talking, yeah, we're, we're talking roller coasters, aren't we? Okay, at minimum, we're going to place a couple of thrill rides, maybe a couple of chill ones, and then we might look at coasters. There are lots and lots and lots of options for coasters. Junior coasters, inverted wooden coasters, monorail, steel coaster, steeplechase, spinning vertical coasters, water coasters... There's a vertical launch. Alpine, where is it? Hyper coaster. Hydraulically launched. You need a big space for that. I'll have a think, but happy with this progress. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments, and as always, we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.